Southeast model and shared with the Sonata Echo, is a model of flexibility and tractability. Its small twin scroll turbocharger is sized for quick response rather than max output. Here making 175 horsepower, the 1.6 liter S output is down a tad compared to that of compact crossover competitors such as the Honda CRV, the Toyota RAV4, the Mazda CX 525L, and the Ford Escape 16L Echo Boost, but Hyundai's four bests the field with more torque. 195 lb feet developed earlier in the rev range. There's almost no lag. The Tucson's torque curve is mostly a plateau, reaching maximum elevation at 1500 rpm and carrying on to 4500 rpm. That means even with part throttle, it's easy to get to cruising speed and to exploit open pockets in traffic without the need for wide open throttle bursts and heroic downshifts. Aside from the 1.6 liter turbo, the feature that most distinguishes the Tucson Limited, as well as Echo and Sport trim levels, is the 7 speed dual clutch automatic transmission. It's not quite as responsive as the 6 speed DCT in some Volkswagens and Autos, but it's a class standout among compact crossovers using conventional torque converter automatics or CVTs. When rolling, the DCT feels crisp with deft, torque managed shifts that you'll see in the Tach more than feel in the butt. Launches from rest are mostly well-mannered, but sometimes uphill starts with sudden throttle applications can result in some brief driveline oscillation and rubber banding as the DCT's clutches engage and boost ramps up. We also noticed some uncouth lurching while gently reversing and feathering the throttle. Overall, the Tucson's lively feel was borne out in our testing. The Hyundai 76, second 0, 2, 60, MPH run bested those of competitors we've tested, including the Escape 16L Echo Boost, 9.1 seconds, RAV4, 8.2, CRV, 8.2, and even the CX, 525L, 7.7. .7. The Tucson also bested the last Audi Q320 T Quattro to the 60 MPH mark, 7.8 seconds. Shod with 245 45R, 19 tires, the 2016 Tucson Limited didn't disappoint on the skid pad either, it's 0.83 grams of grip topping the CRV Touring, 0.76 grams, RAV4 XLE, 0.78 grams, Escape, and CX, 5, both 0.81 grams. The Tucson's 177, foot stop from 70 mph, however, wasn't top of segment but stretched only one foot longer than the Audi Q3 and two feet beyond that of the top ranked non luxury compact crossover, the Mazda CX 5. What the test numbers don't show is just how solid the Tucson is. It's the smallest of three crossovers in Hyundai's lineup, the others being the short wheelbase, two row Santa Fe Sport, and the three row regular Santa Fe, yet it feels the most premium. Hyundai claims extensive use of structural adhesives at weld seams, and judging by how stiff and rattle-free the body feels, we have no reason to doubt that. Roll is well controlled, yet the suspension is compliant while providing good wheel control without harshness. Despite column-mounted electric power steering assist, responses to steering inputs are direct and linear although lacking the more connected feel of a CX-5S communicative helm.